Hi, and welcome to Nisi's Food Journey. Today, we're at Central Market in Dallas, Texas. Central Market is owned by HEB. HEB is the pretty much the official grocer of Texas, and Central Market is their, their finer, more upscale grocery store. And I've never been to this particular location, so I'm going to invite you to come in and join me. First, lots of fungus among us. Sorry. Lots of beautiful mushrooms. They always have a great mushroom selection here. There's just too many to choose from. They have the most amazing produce section, y'all. They have the most impressive one I've ever seen. I love the frozen cauliflower wall. Check out all these different tomatoes. We got tomatillos, all different colors. It's so beautiful. Plenty of citrus to go around. I couldn't even film everything there so much. They have all kinds of kitchen things. Nanners. There's the good stuff right there. Check that out. I'll take some of that, sure, yes please. Now we're gonna move over to the seafood wall. They do have a very, very nice seafood wall. It was a little crowded, so I couldn't get absolutely everything, but just look at all of these different oysters and shellfish. Lobster, my favorite. It just keeps going and going. We got clams, we got octopus all different kinds of shrimp. And of course, Texas has some of the best shrimp, in my opinion, Gulf shrimp, I love it. I couldn't get all of the seafood. There's just too much and just too many people. Look at all of that. And you thought that was bad? Come to the meat department. I really, this isn't doing it justice. I, I couldn't get anywhere near what I wanted to film, but I did the best I could. Look at that. We have been wanting to try that for a while now. One of these days, we will. Oh, the steaks look amazing. They have pretty much everything. I can't think of something that they don't have here. And it just keeps going. They have the lobster tank. I got a lobster from here once. It was about, oh, about 22 years ago. It was a little less expensive back then. And more meats. Now, this is probably the most impressive wine um, selection I've ever seen at a central market. And one of, the, one of the better ones I've just seen, period. It just keeps going. And going. And going. And it's still going. It just doesn't stop. You just keep on going. There's more. And there's more. And look, what a shock. There's more. And here's some over here. So many to choose from, all different prices. The beer selection at Central Market's always been okay, in my opinion. This one's about as good as any one I've seen. They even have non alcoholic beer, which is great. But we're going to go back to the wine now because there's still more and more and more. It just doesn't stop. I couldn't believe the size of this one. And there's more. Just keeps going. Here's the more um, hoity-toity wine, if you would. The more expensive, finer wines over here. And my favorite champagne, yes please. And more wine. This is a grocery store, not a liquor store. So this is, this is a pretty impressive wine wall, really. Then of course, it is a grocery store. They do have all of your standard grocery items. We normally don't go down these aisles too much. Uh, the gluten-free had a, wasn't the greatest I've seen, but I thought I'd show you what I could today. They have nice international food aisles. Just so many different things to choose from. Very well merchandised. The store was very clean. Is in a great location. Because I've been to some that are eh, not as clean as this. This one was very nice. All different kinds of condiments and sauces. <laughs> Saki. 
love sake. And it just keeps going, more and more, just grocery items. I had to pick up some pasta. I just couldn't help myself. I couldn't walk down that aisle and not buy something. And more and more, very nice oil section. Okay, now we're going more groceries. We're just gonna keep going until we hit my favorite section, and here it is. This is the reason why I come to Central Market, their bulk section. So many different nuts and seeds. They have chocolate chips and candies, just almost anything you can think of. Now, I'm not a coffee drinker, but if I was, I think I'd be pretty impressed. And the aisle smells very, very good, as you can imagine. That's a lot of coffee. My husband used to buy coffee here uh, a few years ago, and it was very good. And look, more coffee. Oh my goodness. All different bulk items. We usually spend quite a bit on different bulk items, but we didn't go overboard today. We only bought the pasta and one other item. I think that's a first, only buying two things at Central Market. So many different items to choose from. My HEB has a very small version of this. It's one aisle long and it has a lot it has a pretty good selection, actually. This is the good stuff right here. You know what's in your peanut butter when you get it yourself. It's just peanuts, and here's how you do it. Get yourself a little container, plop it under the machine, press the button, and voila, peanut butter. As much or as little as you want. I have been buying my peanut butter like this for many, many years at HEB. It's delicious and definitely worth it. Oh wait, I think, yep, we need more peanut butter. I knew it, that just wasn't enough. <laughs> now you go and you get yourself a little lid and you write the, um, what's it called? The SKU number, the PLU, PLU, I don't know. You, you memorize that number. You take it to a scale, you type it in, it weighs it, and then it prints the little price tag for you. And I think that's kind of a lot of peanut butter for $3. I think we did pretty good there. Boop. Okay, this is my favorite part of the whole Central Market, the spice section. I did not buy any today because I didn't need any, but I'd say about a third of my spices come from right here. You just get a little bag, you put in what you need, you take it to the scale. Candies, so many candies and nuts. And now we're moving on to dairy. Look how shiny the floors are. I, I was pretty impressed with this particular central market. Oh my goodness, y'all, the bakery. We have never bought bread from their bakery before, and we don't know why. <laughs> We just haven't. It all looks so good. Even my son was impressed, and he's not very easily impressed with breads and stuff because he can't have any gluten. Oh, I, I wanted that. I really wanted that one. Look at that. Oh, so good. And then we have baked goods. We have bought baked goods from here before. Very, very good. They have sliced breads. The muffins, we've had muffins from here, we've had pastries from here, we've had croissants from here, and we've had cookies from here. They're all absolutely delicious. We haven't had the bagels. I would love them. Look how nice they look. Those are some good looking bagels. And of course, the cakes. I think we bought a little tiny cake from here a long time ago, like 2001, 2002. Uh, very, very good. They all look so good. Look at that chocolate one. That one was calling out to me. So good. They all look so good. And I'm sure they are all very good. Just keeps going. Just keeps going. Now we're in the, just the regular deli section. It was very crowded. I couldn't get 
really any footage. I think you know what a deli counter looks like though. I was uh, pretty impressed with the prosciutto. Love prosciutto. And now the cheese wall. Let me talk to you about this cheese wall. Um, it was good. Not as good as the one uh, in Jungle Gyms in Cincinnati. That's the biggest cheese wall I've ever seen in my life. I miss shopping there so much. But this one's pretty good. It's, I'd say the one at my local HEB is about the same size, only it's, um, it's bent in half. So you, you turn and then you go to the other end. But mine isn't anywhere near as stocked as this one. This one, I'm pretty sure, has absolutely every possible cheese. Of course, my own local HEB has almost every cheese imaginable. We have Stilton, we have Red Leicester, we have Tellaggio, we have Parmigiano Reggiano, everything I need there. This one just has more, and it all looks so good. I can't believe I made it out of here without buying any. That was pretty impressive. Soft cheeses and spreads. It just keeps going. And there's more, and there's more. There's some pre-sliced lunch meats down there. Oh, look at all those meats. I love the pickles. I usually buy pickles when I'm here, but lately we've been making our own pickles. I made a video not too long ago. Um, I can link it in the description on how to make your own pickles. Very easy. Usually I buy the pickles and my husband buys cheese curds. Today we didn't buy either. Love me some olive bar. I have been known to frequent this olive bar before. Outstanding products. There's just so many good, yummy things to choose from. And I've never bought anything from here before. I don't think, and if we did, it was a while ago. These are just different spreads. They all look pretty good, especially that one. Oh yeah, and the queso at the end. Yes, please. They have very, very good soup and lots of different soups to choose from. And here's the prepared food section. Look at all that chicken salad. So much chicken salad and it's so good. I have been known to stop here in the past and pick up some food when I didn't feel like cooking. All of it delicious. It just keeps going. There's more, there's more. Oh, look at all that. And then there's the hot deli. I couldn't film too much because there were people there. They have a very nice floral section. And here we are, we're done at the checkout. Look at that giant longhorn. This particular central market has self checks, which is convenient. If you're ever in Texas and you wanna come to central market, they're in every major city. I highly recommend you at least stop by, give it a look. Get some of that peanut butter, get some bread, get some cheese. It's absolutely delicious. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe so you can join me on my future food journeys.